We we haven't done. Um, it's been very difficult. We've we've been playing a lot of games, and Stuart's been involved in this. Uh, we we actually got Gary Newman. Uh, we went backstage with Gary Newman, and he, he wrote us a, a thing saying that we weren't allowed to uh, play live anymore. <laughs> uh, we we said, can, and he, he he made us this card. You see, we got the, and we got given a chocolate a box of chocolates and stuff. Anyway, um, and then of course, uh, you know, this offer to play live came along, and I said, oh no, we can't play live. And they said, here, yeah, have this enormous sum of money. And I said, well, mm, what do we do, Stuart? What do we do? So uh, we we looked very carefully. Uh, what it was written on it, and it said, um, no, Adelaide is your last gig, you see. That was really what it said. So all we had to do was make sure that we only ever played in Adelaide, and so, in fact, uh, you're in Adelaide tonight. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, what, what happened was it, 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 we don't actually do... Everything that we do at the moment is somehow a reworking of something that already exists. We don't want to bring any more children into this world. I'm like a, a mother who's like popped out 16 kids and, and you know, I, num I don't want number 17, right? So uh, we don't actually do new music. We just take music that already exists and we rework it. Okay, now, um, so it wasn't that it was over, it just needed to go through the kind of death and rebirth kind of thing, yeah. Okay, so all the stuff then that you've been doing through Sethcom since you had your last traditional record deal, yeah, that would, would, would that essentially have been the sort of... No, 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 Sethcom ran from the late 80s. That early? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. No, guess... traditional record companies shut themselves a long time ago. <laughs> right. This is what I'm saying. I guess this is the point that I was trying to get to is that mm. once you ended your, your last whatever traditional record deal with whichever label it was, Network yeah. Coalition or Inc. or whoever it was, yeah. and you were doing stuff just yourself, when it became possible that you could just distribute this stuff yourself through mm. your own website or make it yourself and yeah. do it that way, is that what is going to will happen now, or is creating new music done, and now you're just sort of... Well, well you see, the, you know, the story about Blubber Knife, um, we made it ourselves before the record labels, and we made it ourselves after the record labels. It was just a sort of period of adolescence, major labels. It was like when you got sort of skinny jeans and put them on for a while and then you couldn't wear them anymore, you know. Major labels were just an aberration that everybody went through. It's not like uh, augmenting, it's just basically, oh, make it myself, make it myself, make it myself, EMI, Virgin, you know, uh, Capital Records, oh, make it myself, make it myself, make it myself, you know, that's 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 the reality of it, you know. Sure. Um, yeah, is, but... but what do you, what do you, you, you want to know what we're going to do next or something? Well, or just, what? I guess my, my, my long-winded question or my point I was trying to get to was that is creating music, new music, something that you're going to continue to do? Because I know like on the website it said that Donut is something that just was recently done, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. So, so that, that's yeah. a new piece of music though? No. It is no, it's 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 like when you get um, no. What donut is is donut is like um, a easy listening music, which has been um, humiliated in many many ways. <laughs> and um, so donut is like what happens if you went to a cocktail bar on too many tabs. <laughs> and you know they're doing the cha 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 cha, but you're not hearing cha cha cha. You're hearing, <laughs> you know that's what donut is. That um, I've just finished another one called Aversion, and Aversion is my take on rock music. Okay, so it's like rock. It's it's like what happens if um, you do a lot of LSD and then go to a. a uh, Led Zeppelin concert, you know, and, and you freak out, but you just keep on freaking out, you know, it's just, you freak out about freaking out sort of thing. So it's, look, I, I mean, you get to a certain point in, in your life and you really need to give up space for other people to 
be creative. Mm -hmm. And so I need to stop being creative and <laughs> let somebody else have a go, you know? Musically, though you're, though, you're moving more in the video and computer game and virtual reality yeah, yeah. world. Yeah, okay. So, so, you know, there's a lot you can say about computer games. You could talk about computer games for like weeks. I mean, I know people do. They have conferences and stuff. They dress up as things. Um, all I, the thing about a computer game is it's an album of music which you don't have to walk down a corridor. You know, most things you drop the needle, you go down the corridor and you get to the end of the corridor and you pick up the needle. That's what an album has been. Whereas a, a, a computer game can have music through which you yourself can pace whether you go left or right, how long you linger in a place. I mean, the last computer game I did, there were sp spaces where you could just sit down and listen to all the sounds around you for as long as you liked. Or you could run around the place, or you could die if you wanted to, if that was kind of like your thing in life. You could die and then come back somewhere else, you know what I mean? But a computer game is uh, an album without the kind of fascist context, I think. You know, I, I think it's a beautiful thing. And 